Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to adjust your MacBook if you're using a Windows keyboard on it. So, I'm not going to go into great depth in the discussion, but basically there's a couple of very pertinent keys, such as the Command and the Windows key, that are generally swapped between a Macintosh and a Windows computer in terms of how they operate. So while a Mac may recognize the control key as a control key, it has a different function in Mac, which is a whole different key I haven't even talked about yet. So we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. And once we make this change, you should see that everything should be much more similar to how you were using it on a Windows computer. So the function should be nearly identical at that point. So we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. We're going to start by opening up System Preferences down in our System Dock. So go ahead and left click on that. I'm going to be making a couple of small changes here by the way, so it shouldn't be too involved. But now we're going to go select the keyboard. And you want to select Modifier Keys. And I'm only going to make a couple of small changes here guys. So the one change we're going to be making is for so the caps lock, you can keep that as caps lock, that's fine. Control key, we're going to keep that as control. The option key, we're going to change that to command. So click inside this little drop down here, set it to command. And then the command key is going to become the option key. So click inside the drop down and select option. And then once you're done with that, the function key can remain the function key, the FN function, that's fine. You don't have to change any of that. So again, very straightforward process. Go ahead and select OK. And you can change some of these other settings in here too if you choose to do that. But that should generally be able to restore the proper functionality, quote unquote, of the keyboard to the operating system. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.